Hello, good evening. Last week there was a case in the medicine ward where the patient was a case of diabetes with the emphysematous pyelonephritis. He was responding to antibiotics but subsequently the patient sepsis deteriorated, the renal function also deteriorated. During that time there was a doubt among the residents how to manage these kind of emphysematous pyelonephritis and when to decide the patient needs intervention. For that I came up with a small video to show the classes of emphysematous pyelonephritis. There are totally four classes. First class is collection of these gas only in the collecting system, pelvic calicidian system only. And uh, one important point regarding emphysematous pyelonephritis is this is more common among diabetic patients. There is nothing but the collection of air along with the infection because of the gas forming organisms it is there. So where in class 1 it is restricted to the pelvic calicial system. Whereas in class 2 the gas or the air extend into the kidney parenchyma where there is a chance of renal function deterioration. This patient might present with severe sepsis in class 2. Whereas in class 3 you have two categories A and B. A is extension of the gas from the renal parenchyma into the perirenal space just below the capsule. In the collecting system parenchyma and along the capsule is 3A. 3B you can say pararenal space outside of the kidney also the gas is extending class 4 is there is a collection of gas in bilateral kidney or the emphysematous pyelonephritis in both the kidneys or emphysematous pyelonephritis in a unilateral kidney that should there might be a past history of uh, nephrectomy patient might be having only one functional kidney if there is an infection in that kidney with the gas forming organism it directly comes under class 4 and which investigation picks up it better it is contrast enhanced CT picks it better so whatever I discussed there it is given in the table format gas 1 in the collecting system only gas 2 sorry class 2 the gas in the renal parenchyma 3 again divided into 3a and b in the perinephric space in the pararenal space that is extending outside of the kidney it is just below the capsule class 4 is emphysematous pyelonephritis in solitary kidney or if the patient is having emphysematous pyelonephritis in both the kidneys what is the importance of this class why we should classify as per the class because that decides the need for intervention most of the time class 1 and class 2 Mostly patient responds to antibiotic. If there is no response, you might have to go for digestant to remove the thick pus and drain it to the bladder or percutaneous nephrostomy might be required. Whereas if you take class 3A or 3B, there is a high chance patient might have rapid deterioration. You have to be very careful to plan for intervention at the earlier stage. Whereas class 4, you have to be very aggressive because that's a high chance the disease might destroy the kidney within two days so you have to be very careful to plan for the drainage either in the form of PCN or digestant because the kidney help to be salvaged and diabetic patients are already prone for sepsis the sepsis might worsen there might not be response to antibiotics so this is the protocol and the summary of the classes when when to plan many a times if the gas forming organism not responding to antibiotic the patient might require nephrectomy also if the sepsis is severe so as i discussed in the initial part of the video the patient subsequently underwent digestenting now he is doing fine so first whenever you come across a case of emphysematous pyelonephritis think of which class is there and if class 3 or above high chances the patient might require intervention you have to get the urology opinion at the earliest Thank you.